We're still going productions and I'm doing a differential upgrade in this XRS and so basically the XRS has got an open front diff so you basically have three wheel drive when you hit the four wheel drive button and if you're just a dune car that's okay but if you want to do rock crawling or you get in the mud and you want to have a true four wheel drive um, there's only a couple options you can do you can't take um, so the RC car has got a locking front diff, but you can't put that in one of these cars because it's connected with the ECU, and so there's a whole lot of other nightmares to come along with that. Um, the most popular choice out there is to go with a Halo, and those are really good diffs, and they work very well, but the one problem that you can't get away from is the stubby front axle on them. And so the axles, um, this is an aftermarket axle, but this is stronger than OEM, but when you go with a locker, um, the inside nubs on these axles are really small. So guys, um, some of the complaints I've heard about them is they're still breaking those stubs off and they're kind of a bugger to get out. And so really the only way to get away from doing that is to go this route here. This is a Halo 30. This is substantially beefier um, than the Halo, than, than the, or the factory RC car diff. This is one big mean diff right here. And that thing should take some serious abuse but your factory axles will not fit in that. And so RCV makes axles for this diff. They're a 33 spline, they're a lot bigger, they're a lot heavier. This is probably the most bulletproof kit that you can get, probably the best way to go, but it's a little bit pricey. So, I mean, I would do this definitely if you don't ever want to replace anything again. This is probably a really good setup for that. The other thing I don't like about these Can-Ams is the A-Arms, the, the way the front end is set up in them, um, a lot of the parts are single sheared on them, so they're inferior. Um, the A-Arms that come factory on these cars are like tin cans. They fold really easy. So you upgrade your A-Arms and you put something beefier on them, and if you hit something, because they're not double sheared, it's really easy to take out the front end. So I picked up a CT Racework uh, reinforcement kit here. Um, basically all these brackets here, as they go back in the car, um, that makes everything double sheared. And by double shear, if you have a bolt that comes through and your A-arm slides on it, there's nothing on the other side. It's just a nut. And so it kind of floats a little bit. So it's a lot easier to, if you hit that and go into an impact, it's a lot easier to fold that and bend it. So this kit eliminates that, makes sure every bolt and every component on it is double shear. And so this system here should be really bulletproof. It should be really tough. So you can check out Halo, uh, get on his website. Um, the, guy, the two guys that run that, uh, Kelly's the guy I deal with. He's a super good guy. He's very knowledgeable. This guy built some really quality stuff. I'm really excited to test this. I'm going to put this in the car. I'm going to go do a bunch of wheeling over the next couple weeks. And, uh, and um, I'll give you a review on the steering, how it reacts. I'll give you a, a review on everything that I learned about this kit. So I'll, uh, I'll catch you on the next review.